Of people busted in the largest ice raid in a decade. 280 undocumented immigrants are working in the shadows of an all American town. I'm Chris Lawrence. I'm Cynthia Aguirre. Allen is best known for its mega high school football stadium. And if you've ever gone to Waters Creek, eaten at the Cheesecake Factory, or shopped at the Sephora, you know where we're talking about. CVE Tech is right off 75 in a town that's all about family. Marie Saavedra looks at the families now being ripped apart. If you're undocumented and working in the U.S., you may wonder what it looks like to be found out. For this woman, today was that day. I was at home and she uh, called me from somebody else's cell phone. I just came right away. And Edgar Arubla is her American fiance. She's probably go going to be uh, detained and uh, they're going to try to deport her. With Homeland Security on either side, she looked like a bride scared to admit she may miss her own wedding. May 18th. We were, we were getting Dallas. married here in Dallas, yeah. Everything changed when she punched the clock at CVE Technology Group in Allen, which repairs phones and other electronics. ICE came to know the company for its hiring. In this case with CVE, we received many tips that they were illegal, they were hiring illegal aliens who were using fraudulent documents. We watched ICE take hundreds of undocumented workers into custody, boarding buses to be processed. Here's that leaves out. countless family members wondering their fate and likely losing their breadwinner. Arubla was one of the lucky ones to get a final kiss and hug. Oh, I'm feeling really sad. I'm just really scared to, to think what is going to happen to her. They didn't know it when it started, but this was the day they wondered about. And now, they wait. Homeland Security and ICE came into this business with criminal search warrants. We know it's possible some employees could be deported, but tonight no information on any kind of punishment for either CVE or its owners. In Allen, I'm Marisa Vedra. And this is similar to what we saw in August. 160 undocumented workers were arrested in a raid in Sumner. That's about two hours north of Dallas. The company they worked for, Low Trail, remains at the center of a criminal investigation. Now, the president says closing the border will stop illegal immigration, but tonight, Senator Ted Cruz is warning of other consequences. In a statement, he writes, closing the border to legal commerce would be devastating to Texas. Millions of jobs depend upon trade with Mexico, and the federal government shouldn't do anything to jeopardize those jobs. On Sunday, President Trump doubled down on a threat to close the border as early as this week. He's concerned about a surge in migrant families illegally crossing into the U.S. Well, Pete, some of us